Hi everyone, we're here with Chef Wade Watson of Tavolata and we're very excited to be here today. Chef, thank you so much for having a us. Pleasure, always good to see you. Good you to well? see you again, yeah. Always a pleasure, how are you? Very good. Good, excellent. Chef, all of our viewers are very excited because before actually they, they see this, they've already heard of Tavolata, you know? There's a lot of hype about it, everyone wants to taste your food, and now is your opportunity to show the people who haven't tried Tavolata yet what it has to offer to its clientele. Right. All right. So, but before that, uh, Chef, why don't you tell us uh, basically what Tavolata is all about? Basically, what we're doing here um, is we are serving Italian style food. Uh, we don't claim to be Italian, and we never will, mm -hmm. um, because we're not. We're an American and we're an Australian. Uh -huh. um, so, what we're doing is basically simple Italian influenced food. Um, okay. buying the best Italian ingredients we can get here. Um, everything's imported. Uh, all the pastas are extruded, so that means we make them all here. Wow. Uh, we're not, you know, we don't buy any pasta. Uh -huh. uh, we buy semolina and we have a natural pasta extruder that makes pasta, right? So we're making That's them. That's so awesome. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really good. It's a good way to cook pasta. Um, it does give the pasta a different texture to what you used to. Like the store brought generic ones, um, you know, they're made in bulk. Okay, so ours, you'd call it more sort of artisan, we're making them every day. We either dry them or we serve them a lot fresher as, you know, depending on the type of noodle or the type of pasta we're doing. Um, some are better dried, some are better cooked fresh. Um, so that's sort of like the mandate behind the pastas, mm -hmm. is we make them every day, we extrude them every day. Um, so, and also to the pizzas, okay. um, we're getting a really good reputation for the pizzas. Yeah. It's a two and a half day fermentation process for the dough. It really uh, does take that long. Yeah, to make it does. Um, and the reason we do that is for a flavor. Uh -huh. uh, not so much a look or a texture. You can achieve that easy yes. in, you know, in a few hours. Mm -hmm. um, but more so for the flavor of the dough. Uh, it's more of a spongy crust, it's very aerated, it's almost similar to a shibata. Uh -huh. um, but the actual base itself is very thin. Um, it's okay. like thin like we do the abaca pizzas, it's right. very, very thin. Um, so yeah, it, it's as a lot of good food is, it's a work in progress. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's again, we're just sticking to the same theory uh, of cooking nice, simple food. Mm -hmm. Tasty, fresh, and you know, more importantly, good ingredients. Yes, yeah. of course, and I can't wait to try it. Right now, um, Chef, tell us what we have here. All right, uh, we'll start with this one. We'll start with the pastas. Okay. Uh, the rigatoni, again, extruded fresh every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's with a lamb ragu. Um, so we're actually using New Zealand lamb for that. Um, it's cooked down similar to what you would a, a bolognese sauce, mm -hmm. um, except it's, it's lamb. What do um, we have here on top, Chef? On top is a ricotta and mint. Okay, so we basically mix up some fresh ricotta that we make here, fresh mint, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon. Not something an Italian would put on pasta, but something we think goes with the dish. Okay. Um, and it's things like that that, you know, that will sort of stand out a little bit here for the way we cook. Now, I see what you mean when, um, when it makes a big difference to make your own pasta, yeah. you yeah. know, that, um, versus buying yeah. the ones that, you know, you yeah. can get at the grocery store and make it home. Yeah, it really does have a different mm -hmm. texture. Um, they always talk about al dente pasta. This is almost naturally al dente. It's yeah. chewy, yeah. Um, which doesn't mean it's undercooked. Mm -hmm. It's just the extrusion process, the, the semolina that we use for it, mm -hmm. it, it really is a different texture. And, and people are definitely appreciating it. You know? Oh yeah, I mean, I really enjoy the chewiness yeah. of it all. Yeah. And, and of course the flavors that you know, yeah. that come together yeah. once you put it in your mouth. Yeah. And and so this one is a so different shape. This one here is the bucatini, which is like a long noodle with a hole in the middle. Okay. Um, now this one, if you were in Italy, you'd generally be served uh, matriciana, which mm -hmm. um, so it, it's basically it's guanciale, mm -hmm. which is cured the jowl of the pork. All right. right. The pig's jowl. It's cured. It's salted. Uh, also smoked pancetta in there. Uh, and then just fresh tomato, and then basil, and then pecorino on top. Mm -hmm. So again, it's another simple tasting pasta, um, but the flavors are right, the balance is good. Um, and with the sheep's milk cheese on top, of it, it's good, you know, yeah. it's tasty. It's, it's very good, you know, yeah. I mean, like, this is really what you expect yeah. from the Abaca group, actually, yeah. you yeah. know, uh, reliability when yeah. it comes to flavor. And, and then again, this is a different 
uh, shape of yes. pasta, yeah. and and you still make it here. So how yeah. many different kinds of shapes can you uh, guys make? We can actually do with the actual machine we brought. We you can buy the dies. Mm -hmm. Now each die is, is brass, mm -hmm. so each die has a different shape. So and it will either be cut by hand as okay. it comes out, or as a little machine that cuts it. Uh -huh. Coolest thing, right? <laughs> um, so we, I think we can do about thirty different shapes here. Different shapes. Yeah, um, but you know, some we keep on, then we alternate some. Mm -hmm. um, the chitara, which is similar to a spaghetti, it comes from guitar string. Mm -hmm. um, we actually make that. It's like on guitar strings. Oh, yeah. um, it's okay. a little machine and then you roll the pasta so it's a square noodle um, that's not extruded that's done by hand um, but yeah the extruded ones <coughs> excuse me uh, we do change like every week we put four or five different pastas uh -huh. on of some description okay and then you you give the choice to <coughs> The, the customer. Yeah, of course, right. Okay. But we pick the set that goes with it and we'll uh -huh. either pick something classical or we won't, you know. Uh -huh. We just go, yeah, that'll go nice with that pasta or because obviously different pastas need yeah. different sauces. Right. Okay, so okay. yeah, and that's why we change it up. Chef, let's um, let's move on to the salad. Yep. Okay, okay this is a bit of an American sort of thing, but this mm -hmm. is just a chopped salad. Um, a chopped so salad. romaine, iceberg lettuce, then we have pepperoncini in there, a mix of Italian meats. Okay, so we've got mortadella, Milano salami, Fellini salami, um, you know, and then we have the pecorino cheese, white beans, artichokes, radish, tomato. Is this uh, a jalapeno that I see? That's pepperoncini. Pepperoncini. So that's, that's a real Italian thing. Um, mm. It's a cured hot pepper, which mm. is a wax pepper. And it's okay. not very spicy. It's not overly spicy, mm -hmm. but it's there. It's sort of yeah. along the line. Let's call it the Italian jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Same sort of thing. Okay. Right? So, and then we've got here the steak, okay. um, which obviously, being the other group, we have to do. So it's U.S. prime ribeye. Um, you know, we serve it very simply with roast potatoes, mm -hmm. roasted cipollini young onions, uh, some dressed arugula, and that's mm. it. Nothing fancy. It's just it's good quality meat again that speaks for itself. Yes, actually, you this know. is probably the best tasting yeah. steak that I've ever yeah. had in Cebu. <laughs> As yeah. usual, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's just, it comes down, as you know, it comes down <laughs> to just buying the best ingredients mm -hmm. and don't mess with them too much. And that's really the philosophy of this restaurant. Let the ingredients stand out. That's what, just mm. what we're doing. It's so yummy. I am very excited to try the pizza one of these yeah. days. I'll come back for that, chef. And um, please tell our viewers, um, I know that right now you're open for dinner only. Yeah, we're only doing dinner at the moment. Okay. Uh, but November 1st. November go, first. Yeah, we will be opening for lunch. Okay. Um, our lunch is going to be kind of a different concept. We're not going to run a full menu. Okay. Uh, we're going to do basically a three or four course set menu uh, with the choice of three pastas, three different panini sandwiches, mm -hmm. or three pizzas. You get a soup, you get either a dessert or a salad um, for a, a, a very good price. So and that's going to be our lunch concept. Um, okay. You know, it will, it'll be varied. We'll be flexible, obviously, like we always are. Um, <laughs> But that's going to be our concept behind lunch, basically. That's here, very exciting. To get people in, yeah. you know, give them a fast lunch. Yeah. Most people are on time restraints for lunch, so that's true. give them a fast lunch that's simple, it's tasty, and it's very cost effective, um, and it's it's easy done. It's happy days. We can't wait for November one, then, Chef. Why don't you invite all our viewers to come visit Tavolata? Well, I think all the viewers should visit Tavolata, or to make a reservation, you can call five zero five six two one one, and we hope to see you here. Okay. Always a sure. pleasure, dude. Thank you so much, no Chef Wade. All right. Why don't you join me in eating? I've got to go to work now. <laughs> I've done here. I'm off to Abaca now. So. Okay. Yep. All right. Good to All see right. you. Be Thank good. Thank you. Yes, I'm out you of here. too. I'm always good. <laughs>